Something profound. I uh, I try, I try really hard to. <laughs> I'll be one and done. Be one. I try really hard to show like everybody in the halls and in the rooms and the classrooms and outside and in the back every day, even if it's just for like two seconds or three seconds or a handshake or a hug or whatever, just to show y'all. I try to show everybody how thankful I am for being here every day and for um, for everybody opening up and letting me be a part of it. So I might before I lose it. I just want to say thank you to everybody in this room and everybody in the city thank you. And everybody in the world really for uh, you know for doing it together. Thanks folks. I love you guys. We'll see you soon. And we wrote some uh, gratitude letters. A lot of you guys really enjoyed it. And this one actually is from Ms. Don Trapp. And she wrote, Dear all hearing staff at Simtan, thank you for your heart, patience, wisdom, and commitments. It was nice of you because without you, our program would not be as rich and fulfilling. And our members received the best gift, being you. You're with gratitude, Don, and Taste the Village of caring and loving people. Um, hey guys, we, if you have come through my class, then you know that uh, we recorded a song called Thank You. Do you remember that you went in the booth and said, I'm thankful for, you remember doing that? Oh yeah. Yes. Well, we, we turned it into a song on the on the new CD we just made. And, and I think when we, when we remind ourselves that we're thankful for something, it changes us. I think that that we can't we can't stay the same if we if we have gratitude in our hearts when we say thank you there's no room to be angry about something because we're thankful for something right we're we're thinking positively in my class last year we outlined our hands and made a tree here and each leaf was a handprint and each handprint had things that we were thankful for and this year we went in a different direction Instead of the end of our arms, we went to the ends of our legs, to our feet. <laughs> and we took some steps towards thankfulness. And we each outlined our feet. Members helped each other. There was a true sense of community in so far as whoever needed help was okay in asking for help. And many others were okay in offering the help that was needed. And that's always a beautiful thing to see here in our community. Another thing that we did was for Veterans Day, we made some Veterans Day cards. And those veterans were very happy that you remembered them and said thank you. So that was another beautiful thing that we did. In addition, we were able to thank our families before each of the plays. I was right out here in front of your friends and family and loved ones, and I thank them for coming. I thank them for being supportive to each and every one of you, because none of us are alone. We don't travel on this planet alone and in the universe all by ourselves. We really rely on each other to live a happy life. So I say to you, live happy lives. Amen. Hello everyone. Hello. So if you guys can remember back to when we were practicing our thankfulness and gratitude class before. A lot of you talked about the, the little things in life that you were thankful for, not our everyday norms. Maybe not specifically the people that we see every day, but the people that have impacted our lives from our past, from when you were in school, maybe family members that are no longer with us. Um, we took the time to write out who they were or what the experience was, and then we made a collage of all those names and put them up on our door. Uh, one of my favorite moments during those discussions is when you guys talked about the things that weren't completely obvious. Maybe some things that you were grateful for because they helped you express yourself, and a lot of the stuff that we ended up speaking about when we got really down to it were not our materialistic things, but the things that money couldn't buy. 
which are our experiences with the people that we love and that who love us. So I thought it was really nice to be able to see that all the conversations that you're having in your other classrooms, you're bringing them to each class afterwards. So it was really nice to see that you were continuing it. And something else that we were making sure that we did in media was that when we saw something that was nice that our friend did, that we expressed our gratitude towards them. Not just at that time when we were having the discussion, but other times throughout the week. Which I think is something that we should continue to practice. Not just during the month of November, but every month forward. Just to make sure that we're telling people that we're thankful for everything that they do. Whether it's somebody opening the door for you, someone saying bless you, or someone passing something to you. We just want to make sure that we express how grateful we are for the individuals that are here with us and outside of city. So we do lots of fun stuff about gratefulness and culinary, but for our project, we focused on our staff, our members, and our teachers here. So what we did, we had the opportunity to write down what we were grateful for, who we were grateful for, as well as like show it through food. So we made pies for all of our special instructors, and we all gave them notes from everybody in the class, and just some of the stuff that was on there was so great, why we're all grateful for our teachers and the learning they bring to us and the support and care. Oh, Michael, you're making me cry, bud. <laughs> I was thinking about it all morning. I was like, what are we grateful for? And I'm grateful that I come here every day and I have the chance to grow as a human being because I see how each one of you guys have something I admire. Even if it's a staff or a member, I, I just grow here. And that's what I'm thankful for. Um, a lot of times, we we don't show our appreciation, but it's not because we, we don't appreciate, it's because we sometimes forget, and that's something that we always want to remember. But you guys really do make me happy by being here, and I do want to thank you guys to the bottom of my heart. I, uh, so, but one thing I've learned coming here to Sisipitan is I've learned something. I am thankful and grateful myself for everything that I've learned from you. I 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 learned from you. And we can all learn from each other. And I was thankful about that. And what I saw was everybody learning from each other how to be thankful and how to love each other. And that's what it's all about. Yeah.